Hi friends, welcome to Immigration News by Ting Law. I'm here to share some good news and also try to debunk any myth out there that you've heard from other YouTubers who are immigration lawyers. If you haven't done so already, please hit subscribe below, smash the like button. My name is John Ting. We practice immigration law here in Houston, Texas, Dallas, Texas, in all 50 states and represent clients across the world, helping immigrants live and work in America legally. Now, we have two updates for you. They're about interviews. Now, first, we want to counter any news from other immigration lawyers who have said that they've had interviews waived uh, in, in, in the United States. Now, uh, that could be true, but I haven't seen anything for our cases personally, and I haven't heard of that from my, any of my colleagues. And I'll tell you why I don't think uh, it's actually happening here in the United States in terms of stateside interviews. Number one, yes, USCIS does have the authority to waive interviews, but this is not for marriage-based cases, not for spousal interviews. There's very select type of cases. And let me show you on the actual USCIS website. So you'll see here on the USCIS policy manual website, that all adjustment of status applicants must be interviewed by an officer unless waived by USCS and they go by case by case situation. But it does say situations where they can uh, waive it. And that's for people who are not eligible when they're clearly not eligible for the, the type of app, uh, basis for applying for adjustment status. Number two, uh, for people who are unmarried children under, under 21 years old of US citizens, um, also parents of U.S. citizens and asylees and refugees who were previously interviewed by U.S. USCIS officer. And lastly, unmarried children under the age of 14 of lawful permanent residents who filed for them as a sponsor. So that is very, that is very specific situation. That list does not include marriage-based cases. So I know most of the people who are in the audience right now listening are probably uh, considered about, let's say, even if it's brother or sister or sibling category, that's not listed there. Again, marriage-based cases are not listed there. So expect an interview notice in the mail. Okay, I don't want to get your hopes up that it would be waived. And the key thing here is that they're looking at the age of the applicant, the beneficiary immigrant, so it's either very young or very or older, right? And also, the other key thing is whether that the applicant has been interviewed before. And so essentially, that what they're talking about is if they've had an opportunity to verify your identity. I think that's the key thing what their USCIS is looking for. So if you're filing based on marriage, uh, I, I presume that they have not interviewed you before. Now. There are type, other types of cases where they do waive the interview, and that's called remove conditions, and that form is 751. And that, but that is after you have your conditional resident status, your two-year resident card. Okay, so um, just wanted to uh, you know counter some news from other immigration lawyers that have mentioned this for some odd reason. Uh, maybe they've got a unicorn case where they've had some waived but they weren't being truthful in sharing all the different scenarios where uh, interviews were waived, all the, you know, specifically what type of family-based relationship. Uh, secondly, about the interviews uh, under President Trump, he has required interviews uh, for adjustment status for those who are based on employment, spo sponsored by the employer. So keep that in mind as well. The second update we want to share with you about waivers has to do with Department of State, uh, and, and it has to do with those who have applied for non-immigrant visa, which is also known as a temporary work visa. Now, uh, specifically, it's for people who have already have a non-immigrant status that's expiring within the, the last, uh, within the next two years, actually. Before, the rule was only up to 12 months. Now, it's extended to 24 months. I'll share that website with you. And here it says August 25th, 2020 is when they made this announcement. This was, uh, uh, this is here on the Department of State website, travel.state.gov. If you go on the right side, 
uh, after you click US visas on the right side, there's um, a right sidebar for news or announcements. Anyway, Secretary Pompeo has made this announcement and uh, this policy is in effect until December 31st, 2020. And so the purpose is to reduce the risk of coronavirus. So um, they're actually taking it seriously, at least internationally. So that's good to know. And I know they are taking it seriously within USCIS stateside because you know they have the, the glass or plastic panels uh, and they're even allowing attorneys to appear by phone. Um, that's what they say. I know other attorneys have had difficulty in other cities, different field offices, and sometimes it depends on, on, the, uh, on the officer. So what we do in our office is that we prepare a letter for our clients and we ask that the client share that with the officer and be very adamant that they want the attorney present by phone at least. And so far our office has very successful uh, scenarios, uh, successful outcomes for our clients and allowing us to appear by phone. And we're very thankful for the officer cooperating with us uh, because we wanna make sure that our clients have the full representation of our office and our attorneys. So we wanted to share this two big updates about interviews, whether there actually is an interview with USCIS or not, and whether the, and about the wave, the possible waivers of the interview with the Department of State. If you are interested in figuring out if your interview is going to be waived for a non-immigrant visa, uh, please check the website for the U.S. consulate in your uh, the country, uh, closest to you, of course. And ultimately, please be very careful who you listen to on YouTube. Please do your own due diligence on who is telling the truth about the news. Surely not all of us can get it all correct every time. Uh, but, you know, we wanted to share more information with you about different scenarios on who can even be eligible to have a, an interview waived in the first place. If you enjoyed the information today and you haven't done so already, please hit subscribe below, smash the like button, and please leave us a comment. Ask us a question. We'd love to help you if we can. Let us know your challenges and also and even tell us your success. We'd love to hear about it. We, we really want people to, uh, of course, get the resident card. We really want to hear people like yourselves uh, eventually obtain the resident card. And, um, you know, and then ultimately so that you can apply to become a citizen and you can vote. So it's one step at a time. Keep at it. Stay patient. But, you know, keep track of your case. And if you need help, we're here to assist you. And our information is down in the description below. We'll talk to you soon.